At this meeting we're presenting data on tofacitinib in the, what's called the oral shift trial. And really the purpose of this trial was twofold. Number one, to provide more clinical data on the tofacitinib 11 milligrams modified release formulation. Tofacitinib was approved several years ago at 5 milligrams BID. 11 milligram uh, modified release formulation is a once a day formulation. So there are very few patients who are actually on the uh, 11 milligram formulation uh, post approval, uh, but this provides a, a much larger number of patients that we can study. In addition, we looked at the issue of concomitant therapy with methotrexate. About 30% of patients on biologics or targeted synthetic DMARDs don't take their concomitant methotrexate even though we suggest that to them. And they don't like methotrexate for due to tolerability issues. So in this particular study, all patients who are methotrexate incomplete responders had active disease despite methotrexate received tofacitinib 11 milligrams modified release once daily for six months. So they all knew they what they were on. At the end of six months, those patients who were in low disease activity as defined by a CDI score of less than or equal to 10 were randomized blindly to withdraw methotrexate or continuing methotrexate. And what we looked at 24 weeks later was the non-inferiority of monotherapy to combination therapy. And what was demonstrated that monotherapy was non-inferior to combination therapy with methotrexate plus tofacitinib, which gives us some uh, comfort that in our patients who don't want to take methotrexate or having problems could do as well as those patients who continue on combination therapy. It also provided us significant data on the efficacy and safety of the 11 milligram modified release formulation uh, where we had 77% of patients achieve low disease activity in the first 24 weeks when all were on treatment. So uh, I think this complements what we've seen with other biologics like tocilizumab with withdrawal and methotrexate and also supports what we know the real world experience is that 30 to 40% of our patients withdraw methotrexate because they want to.